This is a course on critical path analysis. Now, critical path analysis is one of my favourite additions to the mathematics standard syllabus in New South Wales. And this is because there's no assumed knowledge. There's no symbolic algebra, there's no trigonometry, there's no fractions. All you need to do to be excellent at networks and critical path an analysis is know how to count. So this is a wonderful, fresh start for so many people in mathematics standard. They can be awesome at this subject and they, there's, no, there's really no barriers to being awesome at it. This particular course will cover the fundamentals. So by the end of this series of videos and, and doing the exercises, you'll be able to uh, know all the stuff that the syllabus defines. In particular, you'll be able to represent an activity chart, a list of things, as a network. And the reason we do this is so we can reason with it later on. Once you've got your network, you can do something called uh, determine the earliest starting time for these activities by means of a forward scan. Again, this is just a bunch of words. It will be defined later on in the course. I'm just putting them down here so we know what to, uh, to expect. Similarly, you'll be able to determine the latest finishing time by a backward scan. Again, we'll define those later on. And once you have all this stuff, you can find the critical path. Of all the wonderful additions to the syllabus, the Max Flow Min Cut Theorem is the most wonderful. Students are going to get to apply this theorem to prove something is optimal and they'll feel very powerful when they do it. And the wonderful thing about it is that it's, all they have to do is play games with networks to get there. There's no calculus involved, it's just play games, apply the theorem, prove your result is optimal. So. Many wonderful things to cover in this syllabus. I hope you can join me.